Africa is an amazing continent full of natural resources and innovation. Today, some of Africa's leading entrepreneurs from across this diverse land have turned those resources into massive empires. Before now, women in Africa have been seen as homemakers or agriculturalists, but a new breed of empowered women across the continent have managed to forage away in business, whether through family connections, governmental patronage or sheer entrepreneurship. Welcome to Afropage and thanks for watching. On today's countdown, we will be talking about the top 10 richest African women for 2020. Before then, support this channel by giving this video a like and also subscribe and click on the bell icon to get notified anytime we upload a new video. Number 10. Tiwa Savage. Tiwa Savage is a famous Nigerian pop star who was born in Nikeja Lagos on 5th February 1980 and relocated to London at the age of 11 to pursue her secondary education. She was always interested in music and she played the trombone in her high school band. Savage emerged onto the music scene in 2006, doing backup vocals for artists such as George Michael and Mary J. Blige. After participating in the UK edition of The X Factor and graduating from Berklee College of Music, she signed a publishing deal with Sony Music Publishing in 2009. A few years later, she was signed by JZ's Rock Nation label. She has since collaborated with American and African artists. Being inspired by the growth of the Nigerian music industry, she moved back to Lagos and signed with Mavin Records in 2012. In November 2018, Savage won Best African Act at the 2018 MTV Europe Music Awards, becoming the first woman to win the category. In May 2019, she announced her record deal with Universal Music Group and exit from Mavin Records. Savage sings in English and Yoruba, her music is a blend of Afro beats, R&B, pop and hip hop. Savage's contributions to the Nigerian music industry have earned her several achievements. She has been involved in youth empowerment and breast cancer screening projects, and has raised funds to build schools in Nigeria. With the net worth of $5 million, she is currently the 10th richest woman in Africa. I have two degrees. I have a first degree in business and accounts, my second degree is in music, I studied jazz at Berklee College of Music. So it's like I'm, I'm letting people know that, yeah, you might see me on the red carpet in a mini skirt, and you know, I like to have fun or whatever, but there's a serious side to me as well and I want them to be able to know that there's a balance. So that's important for me to, to, to show young girls that you can make your own money. You can make your own money. Like, I don't have two heads, like, I'm the same as you. And if I can do it, you definitely can do way better. Number 9. Sharon Wapnick. Sharon Wapnick was born in South Africa. She received her education from the University of the Witwatersrand, where she achieved both a bachelor's degree and graduate degree, before moving to take over her father's company. She inherited her father's businesses, premium properties and Octodec investments, both of which are part of the Johannesburg Securities Exchange. These companies are financial in nature, operating in the loan industry. She is the current chairwoman of Octodec Investment. Additionally, she is part of a commercial law firm, TWB Attorneys, where she is the partner. She is among the top 10 richest women in all of South Africa. Sharon also has holdings in several businesses, including Pick and Pay Stores Limited and Netka Limited. Pick and Pay is a retail and food company, while Netka is involved in healthcare. She currently has an estimated net worth of $43.1 billion. Number 8. Bridget Radib. Bridget Radib is one of the first African female minor operators in the continent. She was born in South Africa, and her first job was as a miner. She managed shaft mining operations and projects in the 1980s. She produced the materials in those projects that would go to larger operations in South Africa. She later founded her own mining firm called Macor Mining. This firm explores for and helps to produce gold, chrome, and platinum minerals. Radib also has leadership positions within the mining community. She is the president of the South African Mining Development Association, a mining development program in South Africa. 
she received an International Business Person of the Year award in May 2008 by the Global Foundation for Democracy. This award recognizes business people who have made a difference in the world of changing political and environmental landscapes. She is currently the eighth richest woman in Africa with a net worth of 100 million dollars. Number seven, Irene Chanley. Irene Chanley, who was born on 6 May 1960, is a former trade unionist and businesswoman from South Africa. She is one of South Africa's richest businesswomen. Her first business experience was union-related. She negotiated for the National Union of Malelkas in South Africa, a position she held for 13 years. She then took that experience and transferred to the telecom sector. She became the director of MTN Group, the largest telecom corporation in Africa, and she helped connect multiple African and Arab countries to MTN. Charlie was behind the founding of the National Empowerment Consortium made up of 50% black business owners and 50% black African laborers. They eventually owned 35% of Jonic Holdings, now called Jonic Communications. Charlie left MTN under controversial conditions, but she was worth 150 million US dollars when she left. In August 2000, she was awarded the title of Businesswoman of the Year for her outstanding contribution to taking Jonic from an industrial conglomerate to a modern telecommunications media group. Chanley is currently the CEO of Smile Telecoms Holdings Limited, a Mauritius-based Pan-African telecommunications group with operations in Nigeria, Tanzania, Uganda, the Democratic Republic of the Congo and South Africa. Number 6. Wendy Ackerman. Wendy Ackerman is one of the founders and an executive director of Pick and Pay Stores. Together with her husband Raymond Ackerman, she helped build up one of South Africa's preeminent FMCG retailers, consisting of over 450 stores including 121 supermarkets and 14 hypermarkets. She was born in Cape Town, South Africa, and she received her degree from the University of Cape Town and University of South Africa in Pretoria. She was a teacher for several years, teaching in Saito. Her husband, Raymond, bought Pick and Pay, and she joined him to help him in his business venture. Wendy was in charge of employee affairs, and she developed the corporation's employee benefit plan and welfare plan. The company now operates throughout South Africa, Southern Africa and Australia and employs around 49,000 people. She became the director of Pick and Pay in 1981. She is also a philanthropist, starting the Educational Trust Fund that helps underprivileged students get to school. She is also a patron of the Jewish Women's Union. Today, much of Wendy's boundless energy is devoted to her family's philanthropic endeavors and her personal work for the underprivileged. With a net worth of $190.2 million, she currently fit into the sixth richest women in Africa. Number 5. Wendy Appelbaum. Wendy Appelbaum is the richest woman living in South Africa today. She is the only daughter to South African tycoon, Donald Gordon, who is best identified as the founder of Liberty Group. Having such a powerful influential father was almost like growing up in a business school. She inherited his father's flair and mind for business. In 1994, Wendy had her first business experience with an investment company known as Wifold, a short form for women's investment portfolio holdings. She was the director of Liberty Investors Limited and also has worked in several other industries. After such a long background in finance and business, she has become a philanthropist with her millions. Her recent philanthropic endeavors have included providing free annual breast exams at checkups for female farmers. She has set up breast exam clinics near her home and throughout South Africa to help migrant farmers stay healthy. Number 4. Heja Bali Shagaya. Heja Shagaya is one of Nigeria's most eminent fashiony stars. She is also a businesswoman with holdings and several board memberships. Her business industries mainly focus on real estate. She was born in Nigeria to Semstris mother and her father a public servant in Nigeria. She had her degree in economics from Armstrong College in the United States. Shagaya's first career was at the Central Bank of Nigeria, where she worked as an auditor. 
she then went into commercial sales doing import and export work, introducing Nigeria to Konica, a brand of photography products. She has board memberships with Unity Bank. She is also a contributing member of the Fashion Designers Association of Nigeria, also known as Fatten, and she also has membership status in the Order of the Niger. She is currently the fourth richest woman in Africa with a net worth of $630 million. Number 3. Ngina Kenayata. Ngina Kenayata, born the 24th of June 1933, popularly known as Mama Ngina, is the former first lady of Kenya. She is the widow of the country's first president, Jomo Kenayata and also the mother of President Uhuru Kenayata. She was originally born in gender in the Kenya colony in 1933. Mama Ngina got her nickname as mother of a nation, she has gained huge respect from the Kenyan public. For her defense and promotion of the family's business interests. The Kenayata family has investments in banking, education, farming, hospitality, insurance, manufacturing and real estate, though its presiding matriarch keeps a low profile. She expanded her vast investments and holdings into business. She now owns plantations, hotels, ranches, and other properties. She made headlines when she converted to Roman Catholicism and began attending mass every Sunday with her children. She currently leads a quiet life in Kenya as a wealthy widow. Number 2. Falaranjo Alakija. Alakija is a 68-year-old Nigerian billionaire, fashion designer and executive director of Fam for Oil, a gas and oil exploration and production company. After studying fashion design in the UK, she founded her fashion house Supreme Stitches in Nigeria in 1985 in Lagos, becoming the best designer in the country by 1986. Through a friend she became involved in the oil business, being allocated an unwanted oil block which later struck oil in commercial quantities and made her fortune. This was achieved due to a hookup with Texaco, which later became Chevron, in 1996. She also has a majority stake in Dayspring Property Development Company. Alakija is ranked by Forbes as the richest woman in Africa with an estimated net worth of $1.5 billion. As of 2015, she is listed as the second most powerful woman in Africa and the 87th most powerful woman in the world by Forbes. Number 1. Isabel Dos Santos. Isabel Dos Santos is the oldest daughter of former Angolan president, Jose Eduardo Dos Santos. The billionaire businesswoman is estimated to be worth over $2.2 billion, with interests in oil and diamonds. She also has shares in Angolan cement company, known as Siminvest and the Banco Africano de Investimentos. She originally made her mark in business at the age of 24, by using her father's patronage to gain lucrative state contracts. She has fostered close business ties with Portugal, with her Maltese registered investment firm, holding a 10% stake in Portuguese media conglomerate Zon Multimedia. Her father made her head of Sanangal, Angola, S state oil firm, in June 2016, but Angola new president removed her from that role in November 2017. On January 22, 2020, Angolan authorities provisionally charged Dos Santos with embezzlement and money laundering, but she denied all the allegations. That brings us to the end of this video. Thanks so much for watching, and don't forget to like, comment and subscribe to this channel for more interesting videos. If you have suggestions for videos that you like us to cover, kindly drop them in the comments section below.